Welcome to QBA 2302. My name is Dr. Eide. I am going to be your professor for this course. Uh, this video is just going over what it is that you need to know to be able to navigate uh, the course for this fall semester. So I'm going to go ahead and start by sharing my screen so you can see what it is that uh, we are doing. Okay, so share screen. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and access our course. And so right here, this is what your course should look like. And you're going to start right here with course introduction. It says start here. And uh, we're going to come back to all this in just a second, but uh, click start here. And uh, you'll see, okay, we've got the syllabus, which is right here. Uh, you've got the course introduction, which is what you are uh, watching right now. And then um, you also have uh, information on the course textbook. Uh, if you ever have to have a Zoom meeting, um, how to schedule office hours, um, information about quizzes, uh, information about exams, um, about the final project. And then last but not least, you've got a syllabus quiz. And then you also have the intro to uh, uh, QBA survey, which hopefully you've already done that. But if you haven't done that, um, this survey um, allows me to be able to put you guys into groups uh, so that way we can uh, break you all up to have a really great semester with uh, everyone being in groups and helping one another throughout the semester. Um, and so uh, what I'm going to do, because all of this is really just over the syllabus, um, I'm going to go ahead and download the syllabus uh, and we're going to take a look at this. And so um, I'm just going to click download. Okay. Um, and so I've got the fall 2022 syllabus right here. And uh, just coming through here, you'll see, okay, we've got the book office hours. You've got a link. You've got my email address. Uh, if you ever need to have a Zoom meeting with me, this is how you have a Zoom meeting. Um, and then coming down, we've got the course description, course objectives, um, so on and so forth. Um, and then... Uh, We've got uh, this little excerpt on academic honesty. Uh, this is a really big deal in my class, especially because I work really hard to try to treat you all with respect as adults. Um, and all of my quizzes and exams as of right now are open book, open note, and they're all online. Um, I do have the ability to uh, give them in class if needed, um, but... Uh, I like being able to give them all online to help decrease uh, any sort of uh, stress, uh, test anxiety, so on and so forth. Um, coming down here, you do have readings, uh, and the readings are from this OpenStax textbook. If you click on this, um, you'll see, okay, here's the textbook. You can download a full PDF. You can order a print copy. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, but uh, that's what you're going to be reading. Um, coming down through here, the homework quizzes. Um, there is essentially two quizzes every single week. There's a quiz due on Wednesday and a quiz due on Sunday. Um, and like I said, they're all online. Uh, you have about a total of 28 quizzes, but I only count the top 25. Um, so just be aware of that. I do drop a few in case you accidentally mess something up. You, uh, you know, bomb a quiz. Um, it makes it so that, you know, I can have the same amount of grace for everyone. Uh, I have the same amount of grace by giving you all three quizzes that I let you drop, uh, essentially. And if we have more quizzes, if we have 30 quizzes, then I would drop five quizzes. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, and I give you uh, worksheets to complete every single, um, I give you two worksheets essentially to complete every week. And the quizzes are normally directly a direct reflection of the work that you're completing. Um, also with the quiz, with the worksheets that I give you, uh, this is really important. You can work with other individuals on those worksheets. However, when you do the quizzes, you have to do the quizzes by yourself. So you can work with your group. You can work with a friend on the actual homework. Um, but you must do the quiz by yourself and use only your material. Um, you can use Google, you can use, um, you know, your textbook, you can use your notes, you can use your handouts, uh, you can use pretty much anything during the homework quizzes, except talking to other people and you can't use Chegg, you can't use Course Hero uh, and other things that are typically considered cheating. 
Okay, your exams, you have a total of four exams. Each one is worth 125 points. The exams will be open for one day. Um, and right now I'm still going back and forth on exactly how I'm going to do it. Uh, I have the exams scheduled for Mondays um, every three weeks. Um, and so I might, uh, I, I, as of right now, I'm leaning towards having a review class period on that Monday. But like I said, if I need to, if I uh, have any issues with students cheating, I can just have everyone come into class and take the exam in class on that Monday instead. Um, so the group exam quizzes, the day after you take the individual exam, you're going to be taking a group exam. And I'll give you guys more uh more uh, information about this later, but you just connect with one another. So the exams are on a Monday, then you have a group exam uh, on the following day, which would be a Tuesday. Um, and then after that, you have uh, group participation. You've got a total of, um, whoops, it says these are worth six points. Uh, group participation, the, you have a total of uh, 10 meetings um, throughout the course of the semester. Um, the reason why it, it says nine right here, but you can actually miss one and you're going to be okay. And then you have two meetings with me as well. Um, and so each one of the meetings is worth a total of uh, three, uh, three points. And so this should say 30, uh, and I've got to update this, but it should say 30 and 3%. Um, and so it's worth a total of 30 points over the course of the semester. Um, and then you've got five activities throughout the course of the semester, which is a syllabus quiz, grouping survey, installed data analysis tool pack. Uh, these three are literally done in the first week. They're just free points to get you started. Um, and yeah, and then you also have a final project. Now, this is not like a normal final project. This is a group project. But uh, the way that we have it set up is that everyone does their individual work and then you all are submitting together one completed final project. So you're, you're submitting one completed final individual uh, project, but just checking with everyone in your group to making sure that it's done correctly. So it's not like one of those group assignments where it all gets stuck on one person. Uh, it's intentionally set up to make sure that um, you uh, can do that. Um, so that, you know, it doesn't happen so that somebody gets stuck. And last but not least, uh, you've got your class schedule. Um, it literally has uh, everything that's due on Wednesdays, Sundays, and that's how this course is set up. Things are due on Wednesdays and Sundays with, with the exception of exams. Um, and so Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, just take a look at this. It's due on Canvas on every single Wednesday and every single Sunday. Um, and so this allows me to keep track of it really easily. Um, and yeah, so just keep track of this, print this out, um, and, you know, be aware of what's on here. It says, you know, these are the exams right here. These are the quizzes that are due. Uh, this is what we're covering in class during that class time period. And these are the other assignments that are due. Okay. Uh, give, coming back to Canvas. Um, I have virtually the entirety of this class set up on Canvas. So that way you can navigate everything very easily and succinctly. So we have unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four. Uh, I will be giving uh, lectures in class, um, but uh, in the situation that you miss a lecture or if you want more information, you just wanna be able to see it again. I have almost every single lecture recorded here online as well. Uh, and then I also have, uh, for instance, you've got each uh, week or um, yeah, each week you essentially have uh, two uh, Excel uh, assignments to do and two worksheet assignments to do. And so you'll notice 1-1-1. One -dash -one -dash -one. Uh, if you look at the syllabus, 1-1-1, one -dash -one -dash -one, uh, this is uh, due on Wednesday. This will be due on Sunday. This will be the due, due the next Wednesday. This will be due the next Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, so on and so forth. And that's how every single unit is set up. Um, but then I also have a video right here uh, for each one that goes over, okay, this is how you complete the Word worksheet. This is how you complete the Excel uh, work. And I do that for each one of these so you can be uh, on top of that. So, um, and then coming down here, so you download the Word worksheet and when you open it up, it's like, okay, I'm going to go through this Word worksheet. I'm going to complete all of this. And after you complete all of this, the Word worksheet and the Excel workbook, 
um, and you watch through these lectures, if you missed it, or if you just want more, if you want to cover more, then you take the quiz at the bottom. So this is all the content covered to complete this quiz. However, these videos uh, will be covered in class. Um, the ones that won't be covered in class are really this right here, the um, going over the homework. Um, we'll go over some of the problems a little bit later, but right now, especially, um, yeah. And then coming right here, uh, we've got sampling and experimental design. Once again, you go through all of this information and then you take the quiz at the bottom and then the quiz is at the bottom right here and so on and so forth. And then coming all the way down to the unit one, uh, exam, and then you have the individual exams, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, you also have uh, group work, okay? Uh, the group work that you do, essentially every two weeks, um, and it starts this upcoming week, um, you have, here, let's download the syllabus again. I want to show you at the very bottom. It tells you, okay, you've got a group meeting that's due uh, on Sunday the 28th. You've got a group meeting that's due on Sunday the 11th. Um, and so it tells you basically you've got a group meeting. You've got two group meetings every unit and those are there for you guys to work with one another. They're essentially just free points for you guys to connect with one another and help one another to know the material better, study better. Uh, these group meetings, these second ones, you guys are completing a practice exam together as a group and helping one another with those questions. Um, and so in order to be able to fill out that information to let me know that you completed those, um, I have right here, for instance, um, let's see here, the group meeting. Uh, so topic one group meeting, and then um, you come through here, you'll have topic two group meeting, uh, or you can also go to assignments. And uh, when you go to assignments, you'll be able to see all of the group work. Um, coming down here, group meetings. So these are all the group meetings. And then you are also required as a group to have two different meetings with me. And the reason why I do that, two meetings with me, is because I wanna to get to know you guys a little bit better. And it's really hard to get to know you when we have these big classes. You know, all of my classes, there are 40 each, and I've got four of them. And so this just makes it so that I can meet with you guys um, on a closer basis and get to know you guys better. Um, and then, uh, Oh, you can also click on submit group notes and it brings you right to that. Um, and then book office hours, if you click on book office hours, it will tell you, okay, I wanna uh, do individual office hours and uh, I have individual office hours available on um, Mondays uh, and Wednesdays. Um, and so you can book office hours with me on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, and so just be aware of that. And so you just click on this, you say, hey, this is the time that I want to be there. Or if you guys have the group meetings, um, you know, all there's times that you can set up for the group meetings as well. Okay. Um, and then for all the videos, uh, you can click on ID Analytics videos. This is my YouTube channel, uh, but it's really just easier to navigate through here. Um, and then all your quizzes are right there, exams and uh, various resources that you're going to be uh, using throughout the course of the semester. Um, other than that, uh, I really am just trying to set this up for you to be able to be very successful. Um, I want you to be able to have the videos. I want you to be able to have the resources. I want you to be able to work with one another, uh, but I want it to be your work. So um, make sure that you know the material and that you're learning. Um, and uh, if you do that and you stay on top of your work, then we're going to be able to have a, a lot of fun in class, doing experiments in class, uh, and you know, doing much more than just straight lecture. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of straight lecture, so just be aware that when you come to class, I do uh, really value participation and engagement and want you to actually have more of a hands-on learning experience. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in class, uh, depending on when you're watching this, hopefully uh, in a few days, uh, I'll see you in class and uh, looking forward to a great semester.